Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? I'm back. We've got Alex here, and we've got a special request. I want to give a shout out to a young wrestler named Aiden Roman. What's up, dude? Your dad is one of my best friends, and I want to let you guys know that we want to help Aiden become a better wrestler. Aiden was told in wrestling, and this is true in grappling as well, guys. So these are good lessons for both jujitsu, grappling, uh, and wrestling. Um, he was told to keep his head up when he's in his stance and when he's going for takedowns and stuff. So why do we say that? Coaches say keep your head up all the time in the sport of wrestling. And he's been told a million times, how many? A million. A million. To keep your head up. Because if I'm gonna shoot on Alex, let's say I hit a setup, I yank his arm down, and I'm gonna shoot. If I penetrate with my head like this, and he sprawls, I'm probably gonna lose. I'm probably not gonna get that shot. But if I just penetrate here with my head up, in this kind of position, when he sprawls, my spine is in alignment, start to sprawl. See that? And now, even though Alex is heavier, try to get heavy with your, with your uh, pressure. You guys see that? Now look, I can run up to my feet, knee block right there, and run right through him and take him down. I want to have a nice head up position, body in alignment. If a guy is trying to push your head down, if your head is already up, right here, boom. If he's pushing my head down, it's hard for him. If I already start with my head here and he starts to push, it's gonna get worse. Start to get your leg back. It's gonna get worse and now I'm getting beat. So if I could, go ahead and sprawl like that. If I could, knee slide and get my head up. You see, just go ahead and move around. Get some good angles. I want my head up. Keep coming around over here. Okay, I'm looking around. My head is up and now I'm ready. He's sprawling but I'm looking and driving and looking to take them down. So keep your head up. Not always. Aiden, we keep our head up. I'm in my stance and I'm looking at him like this, okay? Then what happens? Your opponent changes levels and then shoots and you immediately, stop right there, you immediately go, Danger, danger, this thing's gonna hit me in the face. So you actually come up a little. You're letting your opponent get to your hips and your legs, and now you're trying to defend. But if he's got some good energy, he'll run right through you, okay? So, we've gotta learn how to down block. We've gotta learn how to put our head down. Keep your head down, not up. Sounds crazy. What am I saying? Keep your head down. We, we once had a, uh, a wrestling camp with Kevin Jackson. If you guys don't know Kevin Jackson, he actually fought in one of the early UFCs, uh, lost to, to Frank Shamrock, but he was an outstanding wrestler, a gold medalist in the Olympics. And Kevin Jackson came out and taught one of our camps. I was just mentioning, he was actually at the camp probably 10 years ago. He was just a little tyke. And, uh, you know, K, KJ would go like this. He would say, down block, down block, and then double down block. And when he would go double down block, his feet would go back, his both hands would go here, and his head would be down. And what is the point of that? I cannot let this guy run his skull right into my nose, bust out my teeth, it, it, I'm obviously not gonna take it. If I take it, it's gonna be really bad. If I avoid it, it's gonna be a takedown. So we have to block with our heads. Look at my head. Just get some good angles on the camera. Try to get the angles of where my head is. Notice how I'm touching them. It's like right where your hair starts to grow, that's different for you older gentlemen, but right where your hair starts to grow and maybe even coming all the way up to here up into here. I'm not trying to get to the back of my head here. This is, I have my head down. That's no good, okay? So I really don't wanna be here, the, like the crown of your head. You wanna be right here. And then I'm touching head to head with him. 
This is a good place to be. So if he were to take a shot, if he lowers his level and I lower mine, I'm learning right now how to feel his shot. Go ahead and penetrate to your knee. And I'm blocking him out. For stability, you beginners, put your hands on their shoulders. Put your hands on their shoulders. Now you go ahead, he comes up, he takes another shot. Look at my leg is right there. He takes a little sweep single. I step back and I, I basically, you know, so I moved my leg, but I also kept my head. Because if I stay here, where are you gonna move your head? Your, your head is gonna come slightly offline. It's gonna go right there. So when I have my hands on his shoulders, I can feel him. He wants that leg, go ahead and take that shot. I step back and I'm angling and I'm keeping my head right in position. I am not with my head down. It looks like my head's down, but it's not. If a guy reaches up to pull my head, my head's stiff and strong in this position. I am not gonna be like this. If he pulls my face into his head, my nose, go ahead and do that. Just don't break my nose off. Now I'm out of position. This is gonna hurt, okay? And now I cannot even see, I'm against his head, poor positioning. If he takes a shot now, there's no way to stop it except with my arms and my hips and my legs. So I'm gonna place right here. Look where my head is. I, and it doesn't hurt, guys. This part of your skull, bam, 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 bam. You hear that? Listen. Okay, that's the skull. How bad that hurt? Not He's bad. been hitting the head so much. All right, so we're right here. Boom. He takes that shot. I got hands on the shoulders. One. Right here. Go. Two. He takes a double. He takes a high crotch. Hit my cameraman. Good. And I'm just blocking out with my head. A lot of you guys, if you feel uncomfortable with your head contact, you're not quite ready. We're both pretty experienced, so we know what to do. It's a little easier for you beginners to start head to shoulder. Same drill. I'm going to let Alex work it. He'll go hands on my arms or shoulders. My head's in the shoulder. See that? His head's in my shoulder. Okay? I take a shot. I level change. He blocks me out. I level change. Shoot. Go to my front knee. Whichever leg I shoot with. If I shoot lefty or righty, he learns how to block me out. And then the cool part, guys, is you start to develop stance, how to tie up, very basic, how to tie up. And then when I take the shot, he also learns when to snap. So if I take a shot, now he wants to snap me, I'm out of position, and he can work on his counter attacks out of that position, or even counter shots. It doesn't always have to be a go behind, if he takes a shot on me and I'm blocking with my head, I can get in right there on that double leg. Let's do it a little slower. When you get this, this will help you with your reshots because I'm not, I'm not out here with my head up. He shoots, my head drops down, I snap, and I'm in this position right here. My knee's gonna slide in as my arm slides in, as I'm coming in for that double leg, leg stepping up. Driving that opponent down and working on my top position. Um, so you've got, if you guys, the, the shoulder's a little softer. If you're a straight beginner, you're not good at your noggin bumping into an opponent, just get used to the tying up and the, and the head position. So at least you're using your head as a blocking tool. Your head is your fifth post, okay? You wanna use that post, not just your hands, not just your feet, you wanna use your head. We want our heads up. When? When we're in on those shots. Sometimes we duck our head down a little bit. Some people are really adamant about never putting your head down, like you got a level change. So what they mean is, give me, give me a level change. Here, let's turn this angle. Okay, level change and high crotch. Boom, see that? Look at that head up, beautiful. But if you notice, when he level changes, he's not like this, you know? Think about it. You're, you're, when you keep that, look at his head. He's in a nice, look at his spine. His spine, and now his head, everything is like really strong. Like, 
Go. Like, keep your head strong. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. See that? Now, he goes to level change. When he rips it off, his head violently comes up. But that's also because, just turn the angle, his spine. He's no longer in a wrestling stance where he's bent over. He's now in a straight up and down. And in fact, sometimes even angling, arching back. So his head is violently up in the air. I say violently up because now I cannot get back. And now he's got a clean shot. Just cut that angle and I'm done. I'm done. So your head can drop when you're wrestling. It's when you're in good position to put it up, you have to know when to put it up. If I'm hitting a duck, look at my head right now. Is it up? Is my head up or down? I look at it like my head is down, sort of. But once I hit that duck, I'm pressuring, and I'm here, my head now comes up, okay? So now I can take the guy down. Watch that pulsed arm. Um, I think we did it. When do you have your head up? When you're penetrating in on shots, don't be that guy that's wrestling like this. If you're wrestling like this all the time, in a freestyle wrestling scenario, I mean, even Greco, man, guys in Greco, they gotta wear mouthpieces because they're gonna get their teeth busted out. Guys, you gotta be able to protect yourself. It's a sensitivity you will develop. I, you know what I didn't show? Before we end the video, I know this is long on this subject, but it's good to understand. Let's take a couple hits. If, if, if we're not in close contact like this, and if I'm here and the guy takes the shot, I'm gonna dip my head a little bit. I'm gonna block him out. When he goes down for that shot, we're gonna block. So there was some impact. I don't know if the camera can hear it. It's catching the sound, but go ahead. See that? Now I'm angling him out of the way. One more for you. See that now? And, and, and if you notice his head ricocheted, it went off to the side a little. So then I turned and I, I drove him in the direction he naturally wanted to go. You can try it. If you got a nice aerodynamic head, block me out, you ready? So again, when I'm, when I'm taking shots, I don't wanna shoot like this. Not only does he not wanna take the head in his face, I don't wanna take the head in the face. So when I shoot guys, my head is, is here. Okay, and then when, when he goes in, you notice we, we collide here. And then I'm up and I'm ready to go. That's also why it's important to have setups so that you clear the head out of the way as I'm trying to take that shot so I can get the clean shot. But go ahead and block me out, okay? So I'm moving, okay? Block me out successfully. If you guys wanna hit that little hand of the mat, see that? The head blocked out. And now I'm more likely to move my head. It's a game of chicken a little bit. And now look, my, look at this position. Who's in much better position? Look at that arm drag to my back. Boom, he can go right there and get that clean, easy takedown because he's using his head, he's using that fifth post. Thank you, Alex. He took the hits for you. They weren't bad at all. Keep in mind, head butts are dangerous. Yes, wrestling does get injuries. We do get concussions occasionally. When we say that, I'm not saying we all get concussions from wrestling. I'm saying it happens. There are thousands of wrestling matches going on every weekend, thousands, okay? All across America, across the world, there's gonna be some head collisions that were not well planned and they will cause some serious injuries. Be careful when you guys train. Um, you can also get cut, so watch out. And you definitely don't wanna take it here. You'd rather take it up here, right where your hair grows, maybe a little higher, that's about it. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.